Hey everybody, this is Ryan with Tweak My Device, back with video number two of the Google Nexus 7 series. We are this time going to use MSKIP's Google Nexus 7 toolkit. We're going to back up everything after we install the correct drivers, and that will get us ready for unlocking. So, first step check the link in the description below this video and it'll take you to mskip's page here on xda his thread tells you all about what this tool can do in a nutshell it's going to install drivers back up and restore your apps user data and internal storage you can unlock and relock your bootloader it'll root jelly bean builds up to 411 perform an android backup you can even download the stock Google image and reflash it if you're having trouble with the with the device. So a very neat toolkit indeed. Let's go ahead and grab it from the link here. And once you have that, I'm just going to work with it off the desktop. Double click to install it. Click yes. And some general information about the toolkit. This will actually install it to your hard drive. Go ahead and get those drivers for the toolkit use unless you've previously hacked like a Galaxy Nexus which has a similar toolkit then your driver should already be installed. Great and here's the link to the thread also the PayPal link to donate. Give the devs some love. They put a lot of time and effort into these tools that make things a lot easier for us. So we're going to go ahead and run this toolkit. Now do we want to do an update? Let's go no since we know this is the newest version. And on your Nexus 7, make sure you've enabled USB debugging. So go down here to developer options and make sure that is checked. While you're at it, go ahead into security and let's check unknown sources. So leave your Nexus 7 unplugged and the first thing we're going to do is install the drivers, ADB and fastboot drivers. So go ahead and hit 1, enter. And this is where you need to know a little bit about your operating system. Um, I'm going to hit number two because I'm on Windows 7. And let's choose one to install the drivers. If you get this message, go ahead and install. It's not a virus. All right, even with this error message, he said down here that the drivers are installed anyway. Let's return to the main menu. And now let's connect this to the PC. I'm gonna hit number 23 to refresh this menu. Great, now we have our serial number for ADB. So the drivers are installed and it's found the device. Now let's double check real quick and make sure the fastboot drivers were installed correctly. Let's hit number 20 and enter. Now since we're booted into Android, notice over here this tells you which mode you need to be booted into to choose a selection. So it's obviously going to be one of these three and we want to go to fastboot mode to test those drivers. So hit 3 and enter. Device screen will go black and then to fast boot mode. Now let's hit 6 and return to the main menu. Now if we refresh this menu, 23, enter, you now see that we have the fast boot device ID. So all of your drivers are installed and you are ready to tweak. 
Stay with us guys and hit up the next video in the series, number three, we're going to unlock the bootloader. Thanks for watching and subscribe to Tweak My Device. <laughs>